待たせいたしました。ただいまからアーツカンシル東京。We now like to begin the open forum Olympic Paralympics and the cultural program which is co-organized by Arts Council Tokyo and the British Council. Today,、uh, thank you very much for participating in this forum despite the unfavorable weather. I am from the Arts Council Tokyo. I am the program officer, Kazuhiko Suzuki, and I will be serving as your MC today. For, to explain the content of today's forum, first of all, in the first half, for the three guests that we have here today with us, there will be an introduction about the London's、uh, cultural program. And in the second half of the forum, we will be receiving questions from the floor and conduct a panel discussion. We are scheduled to end at 4 p.m. There will be no breaks in between for your information. Uh, we had、uh, an opening greeting、uh, that was planned to be given by the chairperson of the Tokyo Metropolitan Foundation for History and Culture and also the chairman of the、uh, Association for Corporate Support of the Arts. Uh, however, uh, Mr. Fukuhara was not able to、uh, come to this venue、uh, due to the、uh, heavy snow.、Uh, therefore, it will be,、uh, his greetings will be read by Mr. Miyoshi,、uh, the head of、uh, director. Of our Consul Tokyo. As it was introduced、uh, on the program, it is, has been scheduled that Mr. Yoshi. In、uh, the Arts Council Tokyo's、uh, parent,、uh, which was the Tokyo Metropolitan Foundation for History and Culture, the chairman there, Mr. Fukuhara,、uh, was planned to provide a greeting. However,、uh, because of the heavy snow, he was not able to come. But, however, we have、uh, received his uh, uh, words of greetings, and therefore I would like to、uh, read on behalf of him. The Olympics and Paralympics and、uh, Cultural Program Open Forum、uh, is now being held by the co-organization of the Arts Council Tokyo and British Council. As the chairman of the Tokyo Metropolitan Foundation for History and Culture, I would like to extend my readings. Last year in September at the IOC General Assembly, Tokyo was selected as the host city for the 2020 Olympics and Paralympics Games. Olympics, of course, is the festivity of sports. However, it is also a festivity of culture that has been shown at the 2012 London Olympics. Uh, games with the history of UK and also the proud citizens' cultural strength. We would like to learn from this、uh, best example, best,、uh, example uh, to be able to、uh, showcase、uh, Japan's cultural strength to the world and make it a success. Mega cities such as London, Paris, New York, and Tokyo. Uh, has its cultural strength, and that it symbolizes the country's cultural. In Tokyo, day in and day out, you are able to appreciate the symphony orchestra performances from the world and also the world masterpieces. Animation and geek culture also uh, has uh, attra- its own attractiveness. However, the impact、uh, tends to be a Deeply in the various information、uh, that is、uh, out in the world. Therefore, we haven't been able to create a Tokyo culture that can be、uh, impactful. Ukiyoe has influenced the Impressionists, and also the Japanese food and food culture has been registered at the UNESCO Intangible Cultural Asset. Maybe it shows that the Japanese culture is being well understood more by the、uh, foreign.、Uh, Uh, citizens. Now, with the 2020 Games,、uh, we hope to enhance the grade of culture, which is the source of these、uh, mega city、uh, strength. And together with the artists in and out of the country, we would like to use that opportunity to show our ability.、Uh, we believe that in this world,、uh, we are now at a change point.、Uh, sometimes we feel that we are at a dead end and are at a loss on how to proceed going into the future. And in the co- going forward for the tech- next 
10 years, we are unaware of what will happen at what speed. We are at a old, uh, large transition period. So as uh, human beings living in these times, uh, we should be aware, well aware of that transition period and utilize uh, that opportunity to have a rare uh, experience. In that sense, we may be living in a very uh, fortunate times. I hope it will be important to hold our own aesthetics and live with a rich heart. Now, what is necessary to create a vision for the next 10 uh, years, which is unforeseeable, I believe it is to be truly cultured and also to see the invisible. And especially the sense to be able to see the invisible actually is something that we Japanese have held, held from traditionally. Uh, it today, the society and uh, or traditional organizations it may be deteriorating and also the economic uh, advantage uh, is not so strong. In that case, uh, what is it that we should make a key for us on moving forward? I believe it is the cultural strength which is the crystallized form of history and our wisdom. On the base of culture, the country's policies, polit politics, and the economies will be established and that will be a, the, our overall ability. We should understand that, enhance our diversity, and enhance the cultural power that can create a absolute value and enhance uh, our human nature. As a corporate citizen, and uh, we should add the culture factor to the uh, people, money, and goods factors of our uh, uh, society, and uh, we provide some the diversity and uh, vitalization for added uh, value. It is a world that does not move just with economic values today. Uh, we, in order to create the new innovation, culture should be the core. Uh, the, at the Tokyo Games, uh, it was important to gather the strength of the uh, citizens. And Arts Council Tokyo has been uh, created by the uh, Tokyo Metropolitan Foundation for History and Culture. We should utilize uh, this uh, organization for chemical reaction and be able to develop the, uh, the private projects uh, that fuse with culture. Japan Japanese should hold uh, pride uh, in uh, their own uh, culture, not to just end uh, this uh, momentum with 2020 games, but to exert our creativity and create a cycle of culture from that opportunity, and also to gather the power of our young generation. But through that activities, uh, the, what is necessary uh, for the uh, human beings, uh, as a human beings, uh, that we have understood from Olympics history would be the uh, extreme beauty of Japanese culture and how uh, and as a absolute value and going in order to have a successful 2020 Tokyo Games uh, of course uh, Tokyo will take the lead in making efforts to for this its success but we still uh, want uh, to uh, under, uh, recognize uh, the uh, disaster hit areas from the earthquake and be able to work as one nation uh, and make efforts one, as one nation toward the games that is the, and the Olympics will be and cultural will be a effective tool. Now uh, today we have three guests to, uh, that we can learn from the London Games experience. Uh, so Tokyo, uh, we would like to learn uh, from their experience, both good and bad, so that uh, we, we will be able to exert the power of Japanese culture and make the Tokyo Games a big success. So on behalf of Mr. Yoshiharu Fukuhara, I have uh, read his uh, words of opening greetings. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. First, uh, we would like to hear about what discussions have been taking place here in Tokyo concerning the Olympic Cultural Program. We have from the Tokyo Council for the Arts, uh, Head of the Cultural City Policy Study Committee, Mr. Mitsuhiro Yoshimoto. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the introduction, and thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for coming despite uh, the very bad weather. And today we have three people from London. To uh, make presentations, but I'll be starting off first. In Tokyo, all kinds of cultural um, 
programs have been taking place in, toward the bid um, for the Tokyo Olympics. Well, looking back, um, it all started in 2005 in September with the former governor of Tokyo, Mr. Ishihara, and some proposals were made on uh, cultural programs, and also a, pro a, 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 a proposal was made to establish uh, the Tokyo Council for the Arts. And at the first meeting, already, uh, we had discussions concerning cultural programs for the Olympics and Paralympics, and then uh, in 2008, uh, we had Jude Ke Kelly, uh, who was the head of the Arts, Culture and Education Advisory Committee in London, to talk about how important culture and art was for the sports event. And then uh, the Tokyo Council for the Arts held several uh, meetings, and then we were able to uh, submit the candidature file to the IOC. However, we were unable to invite the Olympics back then. However, once again, uh, the Governor Ishihara decided uh, to go for the bid again. Again, for 2020, we once again uh, carried out several meetings to discuss how to go about with this business and the, to um, the Arts Council of Tokyo. Uh, was established, and then in 2013 we uh, submitted our candidature file. Uh, I believe many of you will may not have been uh, may not have seen this, but uh, this is actually the candidature file entitled "Discover Tokyo." Uh, excuse me, "Discover Tomorrow," and I would like to show you what goes into this. Uh, it talks about how stimulating and wonderful Japan's culture is; that it is always communicating the trends of the time toward the young people, and many people who come to Japan will be stimulated by the, uh, biz, uh, by the beauty as well as arts, music, and fashion here in Tokyo. These are all coming from uh, the traditions that Japan had, and we want people to have a very special experience here. We want to provide this Discover Tomorrow uh, concept um, and in realizing the Olympics. So what happens before the Olympics and what happens during the Olympics is actually what goes into this document. However, uh, we wanted to establish a very strong uh, Tokyo culture creation project and as we will be hearing, hearing later on, the unlimited project, uh, an arts project for people with disability, um, Tokyo will continue on with this project. We have already announced that. And uh, after we have made this appeal um, last year in September, we finally won the bid to invite the Olympics to Tokyo. Now, through our discussions, uh, we have carried out all kinds of cultural um, strengthening uh, programs. I believe some of you will know uh, we have the Tokyo Metropolitan Art Museum, which was renewed, and all kinds of educational programs have started here. And also in Ikebukuro, we have the Tokyo Metropolitan Theater. Uh, Hideki Noda is now the new artistic director. And also, the theater was renewed uh, and now has a better program. And then the Tokyo Metropolitan Teian Art Museum, Tokyo Bunka Kaikan, the Tokyo Metropolitan Museum of Photography, Museum of Contemporary Art, Tokyo, etc. You can see that we have many cultural institutions right here in Tokyo. And toward the Olympic Games, we will be renewing these facilities, and Tokyo is on the steady path of doing that. Now, another thing that we've started toward the Olympics is the Tokyo Culture Creation Project. Uh, we have several festivals, we have programs for, the youth, for youth and children, and we have Art Points, which is carried out with NGOs uh, locally, and also collaboration programs with overseas um, organizations. Um, 2013, uh, up to 2013, we have had several different programs um, and events. I would like to show you some photographs of past events. This is Tokyo Daichi Sakai. Uh, 
or English uh, tea ceremony uh, where we invited uh, over, uh, non-Japanese people to enjoy the tea ceremony and you may have gone to this one, uh, Roppongi Art Night. Uh, the art institutions in Roppongi was uh, carrying out these festivals overnight. Uh, as for festivals, uh, we had Festival Tokyo, uh, which is a theatrical event. This one um, was from 2011 on Yume no Shima, which is where the youth village for the Olympics will be built. Uh, this event was held, and this is by Romeo Castellucci. It was right after the earthquake, and this actually um, it reminded us of the great tsunami that hit this year. And um, in this year, Festival Tokyo, we had several outdoor events um, at the London um, Olympics, we also had many outdoor events, but um, here in Tokyo we had similar events being carried out. This is the Ebisu uh, Film Festival, right hand side is a um, contemporary music um, event, and some programs for children. Uh, Performance Kids Tokyo uh, children uh, worked with artists to create um, works of art or learned about traditional arts form in Japan and children um, carried out their own uh, theatrical uh, performances. And we also have another one uh, toward 2016, or rather uh, this was actually uh, included in the candidature file for 2016. Uh, this actually started out of that, uh, not a big uh, cultural institution, but um, NPOs uh, gathered together um, to carry out programs locally. This is from uh, uh, Mr. Kawamata. Uh, you can, the sky tree um, actually has uh, changed uh, the scenery here in Tokyo, and this actually symbolizes that. And Miyakejima Daigaku, or Miyakejima University, it's an art project. Miyakejima um, is seen as one university. Ryohei Kondo uh, carried out uh, the Lava Dance Workshop. Right hand side uh, is a project done by young people. This is Mr. Otomo's project. Um, this is actually a, a musical event. So these were carried out uh, from the Tokyo uh, Culture Creation Project. So as for Arts Council Tokyo, um, and the Tokyo Cultural Creation Project Office and also the Tokyo Council for the Arts are really uh, welcoming um, the invitation of the Olympics to Tokyo in 2020. If we had not uh, won that bid, uh, we were uh, probably be at a loss of, of looking back at history and all the v efforts that we've made. So just looking back at history, uh, from 1896, um, Athens, the fourth one, was in London, but then after that from Stockholm, uh, arts competition came into uh, Olympics and Paralympics. Um, arts competition were carried out and medals were also awarded. And then in 52, in Helsinki, uh, we started the exhibition of arts. In 64, when we had the first Tokyo Olympic, we had also arts exhibition. Uh, we had uh, things for the arts and also traditional arts. Uh, we had exhibitions, also different programs. Um, and also uh, Japanese antiques were shown. Um, national treasures were shown and about 400,000 people came to see this back then. In the past, uh, we did not carry out arts with sports as the theme. Um, this is where we brought in the true fine arts that was were held here in Japan. And then from Barcelona, all kinds of cultural programs started uh, to be introduced into the Olympics and Paralympics. And then in 2012 in London, the Cultural Olympiad London 2012 festival, um, a b very big cultural event was held. And next we have the Rio uh, Olympics and then we have Tokyo. Can we really carry out the carry on the legacy that was built in London? Well, Tokyo uh, is aware of the very heavy responsibility. And for the cultural events in London, there were many, many documents that were created and that are now uh, made public 
in uh, on the internet, but I found that uh, Pierre de Coubertin said this: "The Olympics is the wedding of sport and art." And I believe London really realized uh, Coubertin's words, and I believe we'll be hearing about that from the three speakers who will follow. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.